What if you could predict the future with a photograph? It'd be pretty cool, right? <laughs> oh my God, dude. I look like I'm a, like a homeless guy. Well, there's a brand new artificial intelligence algorithm that came out that can let us try doing just that. So we're gonna put it to the test. It's called Style Clip. You give it a picture of a human face and you can type in literally anything and have it alter that face to match that. He's a thumb. You want a beard? You want to see what you look like when you're bald? You want to see what you look like if you're an alien on another planet? It can do all of these things. So we're going to feed this pictures of ourselves as children. And we're going to have the computer predict what we would look like as adults using these pictures. And we're going to compare it to the real thing and see how close it gets. And not just that, we're going to have some other wacky fun and games with this too because, like I said, you can type in anything. So. Come join us as we explore the most cutting edge of computer technology. So I want to show you how this crazy AI works. And to do this, we could do Sam's face, we could do my face. I tried to photo scan my face the other day and it totally screwed up because of the beard. <laughs> uh, I feel like we should do your face first. First things first, I have to take this picture and like encode it into the AI space. So in order for this AI to change your face, the computer's like, it looks at you and then closes its eyes and tries to use its memory to go, all right, what did I just see? So it's not gonna be perfect because it has to basically make up my face from its collage of learned faces, but it's close enough for the sake of now manipulating it. I wanted to give me a celebrity Tom Cruise face. All right, well, first I have to describe the face that we're already seeing, which is just a face, and then I have to give it the target, Tom Cruise face. And then literally from there, I hit go. Okay, it's like Eric Linden's version of me. AI is Tom so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's the most advanced thing in the world, and then it all boils down to two text boxes. And then like, decades of human ingenuity and research and development go into the image you see right there. And then there's two sliders. What are the sliders doing? The beta is basically the amount of parameters you can change. Think of it like the number of character sliders in Skyrim. And then alpha is how extreme it'll make those changes. So if you want to maintain like the likeness of somebody, you don't want to change too many sliders. Otherwise, everything will change. Max it out. <laughs> Crank it all the way. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I'm gonna capture a photo of you. Take your hat off. What's your ethnicity? Where are you from? Greek. All right. Encoding Matt. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, it actually did okay. a pretty solid okay. job. Okay. It, the computer's imagination of Matt is pretty yeah, accurate. It's actually it's really close. It kind of greeked yeah. you up a little bit already. It did. It got so. me a little tanner. Yeah. So, so we can see what Matt looks like when he's even more Greek. I want to see tzatziki yeah. sauce coming out of your ears. I would love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Smart. My eyebrows are starting to connect slowly but surely. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is like touchy ground, but I'm going to do it anyways because human faces come in a lot of different sizes, shapes, and colors. So for example, let's do Korean. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, wow. Dude. That's nuts, because it actually still looks like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The eyebrows are completely the same, cool. the facial hair, everything else. Hey, Jordan, do you want to see what your brother would look like if you yes. had a brother? Okay, here we go. I'm going to see what Jordan would look like if she was a man. Oh, oh okay. John! Oh. My brother looks better than me! Face with 80s hair. <laughs> now, is it going to interpret it as the decade or the age? Oh, yeah. hey. I can't believe that worked actually. <laughs> that's like, that's some big old hair. I just woke up and just took a couple. Big old ladies here. For me, what gets me really excited about AI is when we have stuff that's completely generated by the AI and doesn't really require as much of that underlying image to base itself off of. Deepfakes are really cool because you can get a really lifelike version of someone's identity onto someone else. My only issue with it is that you still need that foundational actor to drive the performance. But it's cooler when you can create a face out of nothing, so to speak. So we're doing all these like, you know, image manipulations for the face, but in order to test this, we need to be testing age. So I want everybody here to give me pictures of themselves as kids. But we're gonna see if this AI can accurately predict what you would look like. Is that what you would actually look like? Yeah. Let's find out. So let's start with me as a little wee toddler. Well, not really toddler, like, three, four years old. So I have to describe what the original picture is and I have to describe the destination. Let's try old face. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> it takes the brow and just <laughs> scrunches it. So now I have to ask myself, do I want to limit what's happening here? Because it's kind of keeping the face shape, right? And it's kind of keeping the curly blonde hair. So I kind of want to open it up to affect more sliders. So let's try that. Okay. Whoa! Ooh, gross. Oh. Freddy Krueger face. Freddy Krueger, yeah. So let's try Nick Laurent here behind the camera. Let's just do the classic child face, a skinny adult male face. Okay. 
That's actually pretty good. That's pretty yeah. good. The best part of this is it keeps the child's haircut, like yeah, the super yeah. weird Frankenstein haircuts yeah. that we all had when we were kids. <laughs> it keeps that on our male counterparts. Sam, which picture would you like me to work with? This one with you <laughs> enjoying a bowl of cereal and like just chilling, like, hey, what's that? Or the one we were on the boat. Yeah, that was the first boat I stole. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the chilling and then the boat one will be the grand reveal. Sam it's is pretty close. Definitely, definitely not going to age correctly because it's not quite there. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a freaking Alaskan dude. It's time for Griffin to see his future. Here's old man Griffin. Mm. Oh, that's accurate. Yeah. Comparison of his father to old man Griffin is actually not that far off. You're not a dog. That's so uncanny, dude. I'm starting to identify a problem here. And that is, if you don't know your destination, you don't know if this is pushing you in the right direction. So there's a bit of the question here, can I dial in? Can I get it to look like me now? Let's try child face. And let's try adult male face with beard. Okay. okay we're getting there. I might have to lose the beard for now, but we'll see. Oh, <laughs> I'm looking like Dane. Yeah, it's, once I start pushing that beard, it starts losing the face shape because it's like, there's just not enough data. What do you think, Nico? Would this one work? Yeah, that would work. It's, it's not gonna look, look like you, but it'll work. Wow. What? That's actually pretty accurate. I, mean, I look like a poor man's Neil Patrick Harris. I, hey, at least it's better than Michael Sarah for once. <laughs> oh, you oh my it? god! There's Michael! <laughs> so rather than trying to dial in all the settings at once, let's do this. I'm gonna snip tool this version of Nick here. Ooh, I'm gonna get the beard on Nick by running it through this again. Oh. Eh, no. <laughs> no. It's the ears are getting like more and more <laughs> yeah, intense. Larger and larger. Yeah. So here's the thing, Ren. We don't so just have to age people. <laughs> Down. Face on meth. Be a little more down. More meth. More meth. We gotta turn up the meth use. Whoa! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> That's it! It's accurate! Science has predicted what Ren would look like if he did meth for 10 years. Right. This is too much power, man. Can you just try pet fisherman? You want fisherman? Alright, I'll turn up the fisherman values. Yeah! I knew it! I knew it! If you guys want any other help getting these faces a little more accurate, bro, that's uh, actually... let me know. Next thing, most important, we have uh, Griffin. <gasps> Don't worry about it. Okay. You can save those ones right there. There's yeah, four that's... good ones. I'll go get a dustpan. I think we were all wondering what Griffin would look like if he is bald. We are just talking about <laughs> Phil Collins! <laughs> yeah. It gave you a dream. <laughs> what? Wait! <laughs> He oh just knew. Reptile face, here we go. <laughs> thumb. He's a thumb. No. He's like one of those little thumb people. <laughs> just shrimp. Skinny right. shrimp. Skinny, skinny shrimp. Shrimp. shrimp face. Shrimp. <laughs> oh! I'm a shrimp. Shrimp Nick. Shrimp Nick. <laughs> That's me in my new Discord. <laughs> so we're discovering that we need to write skinny if we're working with baby faces, because there's a lot of baby found in them. So skinny adult male face with beard. Okay. Whoa, okay. okay. It's actually not that bad. The eyes, relatively close. My brow isn't quite that low. So we're kind of running into probably a little bit of a data set thing here on top of just the face not quite being mine to start with. So oh, can you do meth? Can you do Oh, we gotta do meth. Yeah, yeah, of course yeah. we gotta do meth next. There it is! Yeah! Oh, oh, hello, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever this boy is here, when they grow up, this is a pretty solid interpretation of what direction they could go in. Is it me? <sighs> Not really. No. no. So there's no sponsor on today's video because we've got a website, CorridorDigital.com. We got lots of great content here. If you've been wanting to get those vlogs back, well, guess what? They're on the website right now. The crew cuts show on the website. Basically, it's the vlogs. They come out at least twice a week. Look at all of these crew cut videos. This is just the crew cuts. The website also has all of the videos that go on to all of our YouTube channels. They go out early and they contain no ads. We also have a bunch of original shows that you can green light yourself. Check it out, we got a pretty cool system here. One of our most recent shows from the green light feature would be functional filmmaking. It's basically a masterclass covering all types of filmmaking for online content. We wrote it, we made it, we produced it, it's for you. <laughs> we also have our D&D campaign called Son of a Dungeon, and that was pretty sweet. And we're actually doing something really cool that I haven't really seen anyone else try. We basically 3D scanned the entire game set, and we're going to be putting ourselves into the game set to get some live-action virtual production 
of the funniest and coolest bits from the game. This is actually kind of snowballed into one of the biggest visual effects projects we've ever done, so stay tuned for that in a couple months. I'm excited. So yeah, check it out. It's only four bucks a month if you're interested. It's actually a really great way to directly support us. So if you like our content, consider it. If not, no worries. I'll see you next time on the YouTube vids. <laughs> So we've gone through and we've aged up a bunch of other crew members and we're gonna show them the results here and see what they think. And I want to see if you guys can guess who is in each picture. If you can guess who that adult is or who that child was, congratulations, you are proving that AI is superior to human beings. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pull up the first picture. You guys guess who it is. Oh, it's gotta be Jake. Wait, yeah, that's Jake. That is. The simple Jake. It's simple Jake. <laughs> I didn't alter the haircut, so everybody has like the haircuts they had in third grade in these pictures. Yeah, you still got the baby teeth. It's <laughs> the baby teeth. Oh, next up. Dean? Oh my God. Yeah, is Dean. Yeah. Dude, your eyes are doing this. We can tell it's Dean, but it definitely does not quite look like Dean. It kind of makes sense though, because Dean's child photo did not really look like Dean in the first place. He looked like a different person as a kid. Oh, it's actually Sam. Sam. Chase, though, I would love to see you rocking this hairdo at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those friggin' eyebrows, though. They gave me, like, extra. That's Matt and Mr. Bean. Balova, balova, balova. Mm. The picture I used was from, like, Matt when he was maybe, like, 10. So it was pretty easy okay. just to bump it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's me with baby teeth, also. You look like you're from Hobbiton. Do you have a meth folder? Oh, here, you guys want to see meth, Nico? <laughs> Like the guy from It's Always Sunny. Oh, yeah. Cricket. Yeah, cricket. cricket. <laughs> it's like rickety cricket. Oh. I will not accept this. <laughs> Who is it? I'm out. I'm out. Uh oh. Ren? Oh my god. Definitely. That's Ren for sure. 100%. With a little bit of Linus. dollars more than even the most tricked out. Alright, next up. <laughs> <laughs> That's Crow Magnon Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's picture was a really portly, smiling kid. And so apparently the keyword rugged needed to be added to start pushing it more towards like an adult version of Sam. By the way, Holy there's a shit. finger or something. <laughs> oh, here. that's disgusting. 90s bully Sam. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Nick right there. It's pretty close. We're trying to figure out this looks exactly like some actor. A lot of these faces are from celebrities. Basically, there's hints of actors in all of our faces right now. You guys see Shrimp Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the little shrimp in the background. Dude! <laughs> what? Thanks for looking, everybody. I feel like the aging is relatively accurate. Is it as good as an artist's interpretation? Probably not. But everybody could tell who the photos belong to, and for what it's worth, I was able to do these in like five minutes <laughs> each, versus like an artist having to go in and spend like a day doing it. The frontier of artificial intelligence and machine learning is going to change our lives, and I'm trying to explore it in the world of film and visual effects and art here in Corridor. So, if you want to see more of this cool stuff, consider subscribing, because every once in a while you might see a little cutting edge, never before seen effect happening here once in a while through AI.